Jump links and anchor links, how to use them, what are they, how to install them and get them set up on your website. That's what we're looking at today. I'm Gavin from thrivewp.com and let's dive in. So you might have seen these working on other websites or you might have read about them. Um, they're basically simple links that when clicked take you to a different section of a page. So that might be you have a, a long article and you're wanting to, to link to different sections of that so it's, it's easier to access. Um, so jump links are perfect for that. So an example of that is this, this button here is set as a jump link to the next section of our home page. So when you click it, it scrolls down and takes you to the next section really nicely. Um, so that is how a jump link works. You click it and it scrolls down to the next section. So like I said, this would be useful in, in long form articles or really long blog posts where you maybe want to, at the beginning of a post, create um, your open paragraph and then maybe a few links to the various sections throughout your post that you want to jump to. So we've created this, this uh, example post and we've already added one jump link or an anchor link as they're known. So when we click that, it takes us straight to this how to section. Okay, so you click it straight to how to and you'll notice that it takes, pulls the page right up to the, the top of the visible part of the page. Um, so it takes you straight there. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at this, this post that we've created. We're going to add a couple more links so that you can see how it's done. So let's head over to our dashboard and we are in this post at the moment. I'm just going to refresh the page. Um, It's always the way, it takes a bit of time. Okay, so we're in our post and there's our jump link that we created earlier. Uh, and as you can see, that is the link that it's going to. So there's basically two parts of creating an anchor link or a jump link. And that is your, your initial link and then uh, a small bit of, of code that you need to add to wherever you want the link to take you to. Okay. Um, now you will read or hear a lot of people saying, well, just install a plugin to do it, it's much easier. That's all very well and good, uh, but plugins come with a lot more code. That means that your website will load slower. Uh, and you know, with every plugin you add, you're adding another opportunity or another door as such for hackers to get in. Um, so for something as simple as a jump link or an anchor link, you really don't need to install a whole plugin with a bunch of code and files um, because it's just a simple link. So we're going to have a look at that now. So what we'll do, so this link, okay, jumps to the first how to section here. So we're going to add another jump link or anchor link to the second section. So all you do is you write whatever text you want. So you can put go to uh, second section okay or you can you can call it whatever you like click here to jump to section 2 it really doesn't matter what you call it you highlight that and then you click the link button okay and then what you do is you put hashtag and then you choose what you want to call this um, and you, you will need to remember it in a, in a second for the other part so uh, I am just going to call this simply second section and it has to be lowercase or one word but you can literally call it whatever you like. Okay so I'm going to call that second section and that's created that link. So at the moment if that was clicked it wouldn't do anything. Okay um, because you need the second part of that and we can we can demonstrate that so if we update this page now. Okay and we refresh the page over here. So the jump to how to, oh, page is still loading, sorry. Let's just try that again. We're on a bit of a slow connection today. Okay, so we've clicked jump to how to, 
it takes us to that section. If we click jump to section 2, it won't take us anywhere. Uh, and that is because we haven't finished uh, adding the code for this section. Um, don't get scared when I say code, it's very, very, very simple. So all you need to do is you find the section you want that link to come to, which was this one. We wanted it to go to the second section. Um, it's a heading tag, so that's great. So we just need to edit as HTML. And you'll see then the, the H2 for the heading tag. This is an opening H2 and a closing H2 tag. So all you do is you click inside the opening H2, just next to the two, do a space, and you put ID equals quotation mark and remember what we called the link up above okay we called it second section all lowercase another quotation mark okay so it's very important that this phrase here is exactly the same as what you set up on the link above you don't need to include the hash in this one just the wording okay and that's all you do so literally space id equals quotation the term that you've put in the link, second section in this case, and then a closing quote, and that is it. You can then pop that back to Visual Editor if you like. It doesn't look any different on the front end. It's not a link, it's exactly the same. So we'll update that. So all it's doing basically is, is now, once we uh, refresh our page a second, so all it's doing really is this link we have set to um, basically tell the browser to, once clicked, go down and find the section that is called section two. Um, so if we click it now, <laughs> hang on a second, we might need to ref refresh our page or clear our cache most likely. Uh, let's just clear our cache. This is a good note actually for a lot of people Okay, if you're running a caching plugin at all, you want to make sure that you, you do definitely clear that. And also check your links. As you can see, we missed a D on our second section. So now let's just double check this one. And this is good. It's good that things like this happen in, in live videos. Um, because people get to see exactly what can happen you know a lot of the times people that produce these videos they need to be all polished and looking really good but actually it's really important that sometimes these things go wrong and I'm not going to edit it out because it might happen to you and you might suddenly think well I don't get it it's not working so you just go back check your links make sure they're both called exactly the same which in our case they weren't because we missed the D so we'll update that page and we will clear our cache just to make doubly sure. And we will refresh our page on the front end. Okay, so now we've made all those changes, we made sure it is gonna work. We click jump to section two and it takes you straight to the section two. Okay, so, and you know, you jump to the how to section, so it takes you to how to section. Jump to section two, jump to section two. So we can keep, keep adding links as much as we like. So we'll add a third and a last section as well. Um, just to kind of add to that and we'll, we'll do it properly this time uh, let's just refresh our refresh our edit screen a second come on we're a bit of a go slow today. Okay, so let's add another jump link or anchor link to the third section. So I'm going to say, we're just going to call it go here to see third section. And I'm just for the sake of it. Just going to call it boo, um, because like I say, you can you can you can call the link whatever you like. Really, it doesn't matter. It's not necessarily visible. Um, so I'm going to go apply. So that's applied. So now we need to find a third section. 
excuse the bells in the background, we're going to just edit the HTML. So we go in here, we go ID equals quote, the word we used was boo, quote again. Okay, and we will pop that back to visual. Okay, so that's the third section, and then we've got the last section link as well, which we're going to add. Okay, so then we're just going to go last section. And for this one, I'm just going to call it last. Okay, so we're going to we're going to pop down to the last section. And we're going to edit the HTML, just pop ID equals quote, and we're going to call it last, and that. Okay, now we'll put that back to editor. What you can also do, um, and we will add another link as well, is um, it doesn't have to be a heading tag. So I, I expect some of you are thinking, okay, so it has to be a heading tag now. It doesn't at all. Uh, it can be just a word if you like okay so what we can do is we can edit this wording in HTML we can find a word and we'll find we'll use this embarrassing hidden okay so all you do is you do a opening p tag ID equals and we'll call this uh, text link quote and then we close that and then at the end, we just do this to close the P tag. Okay, so we'll remember that text link. We will go back to visual. <laughs> we need to convert uh, this to HTML. Preview. Right, okay, so Gutenberg decided it wanted to change it. I don't want it changed. So <laughs> let's just have a look. So, okay, let's just uh, edit visually. So we're just going to pop this back in. It was because uh, the block wasn't pro uh, a Gutenberg block properly in the first place. So PID equals quote and text link close quote. Edit visually, so it doesn't. Gutenberg doesn't like that, so that's another another issue. Um, but that's fine. We can just convert that to HTML, so it keeps that. We'll update that, and we'll also add a link to that text section. So we'll pop here, and we'll go this text section. We'll go here, and so we called it text link, didn't we? So we'll pop text link in there, add that, and update. I will leave the spelling mistake. Why not? Um, so then we'll clear our cache just to make sure. And we will refresh our link page. OK, so we've got all our links in place now. So we've got our jump links, also known as anchor links. Um, so we can jump to the how-to section. We can jump to the second section. We can jump to the third section, and we can jump to the last section. And finally, we can also jump to a text section, which we chose um, this bit of text here. So it doesn't have to be a heading as such. It can be whatever you want it to be, whether it's a text, um, you know, just normal paragraph text, which is why what the P tag stands for. Um, or a heading text, it doesn't really matter at all. Okay, um, as long as it's got some kind of uh, a tag around it, so you couldn't just put, you know, in front of this, you just couldn't put ID equals so forth. Um, it has to have a tag of some description, so that can be a P for paragraph tag, it could be a H1 for a head heading one tag, or a two, or a three, or a four. Um, it doesn't really matter in that sense as long as it's using some kind of of text tag that you can use and then you just add your ID equals your quotation marks with your wording and then your closing tag as well 
So that's how you create uh, jump text um, or anchor text within your posts so that you can then simply provide a nice little kind of opening paragraph on your post. You can then kind of link to different sections. So it makes it very easy rather than users kind of scrolling down the page for ages and ages trying to find the bit that they're interested in. Um, you can link directly to that and all they need to do then is click the link and go straight to that section. Now what you will notice, okay, is that the the transition is quite jarring. Um, so you click a link and it's kind of bang straight there. Uh, it's, it's quite a jolting experience to just be thrown straight to that section. So what you can do, okay, is you can add a small bit of CSS code, okay, into your theme which will make it do basically a, a smooth scroll. Um, so it makes it scroll down the page a little smoother rather than that, that real jarring um, transition. So if you go into your dashboard, you go to appearance and then customize. Okay. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, we'll leave. That's fine. Once you've gone into the customize screen, you'll find somewhere, um, usually at the bottom, but it depends on your theme, additional CSS. And we just need to add a small bit of CSS into here. Okay. Uh, so basically, you just need to put this bit of code in. You don't need to worry about the warning. Um, this code doesn't work for, for all browsers. So for instance, it currently isn't supported by uh, Microsoft Edge um, or Safari, I believe. Um, but for the majority of others, it is supported. Um, so simply add this, this bit of CSS code and we'll make sure that this is added in our blog post. So we'll link to that blog post in the video description um, so that you can come and copy that straight away. So you've pasted that in, you've published that. Okay. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just clear our cache again just to make sure that that takes effect properly and we will refresh our jump links page okay so now when we click a link rather than it just being very jolting transition it will smoothly scroll down the page um, so can you see that transition as we click the link it's just a nice smooth scroll yeah rather than it just being a very jolting experience it's a very small effect, but it, it makes a big difference, I think, in, in the user experience. So it's just scrolling down the page to that section rather than just kind of really jolting you into that section. Um, so it's a much better experience from a very small piece of code. Uh, and that's it really, guys. Um, that's how to create jump and anchor links. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, of course, subscribe and notification bell and all that, that stuff. Um, Hope you liked it and we'll be back with another how-to video very soon.